Qualcomm wasn't immune to the broader tech slowdown in its most recent quarter, with sales dropping 12%. Operating profits were also under pressure. Uh, really, this quarterly weakness driven by uh, pressure on the handset business, uh, that is, of, uh, of course, things we've seen in the likes of Apple last night as well, iPhone sales under pressure as well. But uh, Citi saying uh, this is a difficult time in handsets. And if you take uh, the, the handset business and the Internet of Things business for Qualcomm, that makes up about 77% of their first fiscal first quarter sales, what they just reported. Yeah, and that's something that investors are looking to more and more. And the company has really touted more and more is outside of the handset business, what else is working? Initially, the Qualcomm shares actually went up after they reported their results. Automotive sales were up 58%. Mm -hmm. um, can you mention connected devices, I believe, up 7%. However, if you're thinking about the, the overall revenue of the company is $9.46 billion. Automotive sales is $456 million. Connected devices is $1.68 billion. In other words, Yes, those areas are growing, but they're still very small as a proportion of the total company. As compared to the uh, of in excess of $5.7 billion for the Q1 fiscal 2023. For the handsets, yeah. handsets, yeah, exactly. And so, um, you know, really thinking about how they continue to not just move more into the automotive landscape or at least kind of lessen the dependency on that handset business, knowing how much Apple how much Samsung, how much some of the other manufacturers have proven that they are ready to throw their weight around and perhaps a little bit have a little bit more vertical integration. Uh, that's a that's a red flag for Qualcomm right now, at least. And so just a larger question of where you continue to have that demand generated in this near term as well, given the shift that you've seen from some of those large historical purchasers from the business, too.